Facebook is again under fire, but this time in Moldova for allowing a sanctioned oligarch to run paid ads on their platform with the aim of destabilizing the current government. Дорогие друзья, добрый день. Я вас прошу, не приходите на протест. Here's an example of an advertisement published on October 28, 2022 by Elon Shore, the opposition politician who's been put on the U.S. government's sanctions list for trying to undermine Moldova on behalf of Russia. And in this video, Elon Shore is trying to round up support for an upcoming anti-government protest, and he also accuses Maya Sandu, the pro-Western Moldovan president of corruption. And as you can see, this ad received approximately 250 to 300,000 views on the platform and it cost Shore's political party uh, between 500 and 600 euros to run and there are hundreds more examples like this video over the past few weeks and as a person under sanctions Shore is not allowed to engage in any sort of financial transactions with Facebook or any other US company but his team have found a loophole by for example uh, buying Facebook pages from other countries like Vietnam and running their ads uh, through these pages and this campaign has been quite effective. Last autumn, Moldova was rocked by a series of anti-government protests initiated by the Shore Party. Thousands took to the streets of the capital to protest against rising energy prices. And most of these ads were ultimately removed by Facebook, but not before they were watched millions of times in a small country with a population of about 2.6 million. And according to Valery Pasha, uh, the president of Watchdog Moldova, Facebook's slow response has had a detrimental impact on public opinion. We uh, see some actions from Meta, but these actions are very slow and absolutely inefficient because the impact is done and uh, all these pages and people behind them they are violating the Facebook own rules. Meta, the parent company of Facebook, has promised to crack down on these sorts of influence campaigns. Uh, for example, in this statement, uh, they have said that they have hired native Russian and Ukrainian speakers to monitor the platform around the clock. But nothing in their policy update mentions Moldova. And here in the Cube, we've reached out to Meta, but we have yet to receive a response from them. Meanwhile, Moldovan NGOs like the ones that we've interviewed are pleading with the company uh, to allow more resources and staff to better monitor the situation.